there everybody, it is me Alexa and today we'll be looking at the Bajil Raipan intro scene. So this movie is of course directed by Atali Kumar and stars uh, Telepathy Bajay as well as Nayantara, Jackie Shroff, Vivek and Kathir and many many other talented people. And the music is of course by A.R. Rahman. So I watched the trailer for that just a little while ago, or yes, probably longer than it. Yeah, it's quite a while ago now. But um, I really enjoyed that trailer. I thought that it was really compelling and showed a really good just like sports movie that I think definitely would be a lot of fun to watch. I have not gotten around to watching it yet. But um, yes, I'm slowly watching more and more movies because um, I no longer will be going to work. So. I'll have a lot more time to make videos for y'all and watch some more movies. I just watched my first Robbie Tejo movie all the way through and that was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed that trailer. I think that it was really well shot and really well put together. So it really showed you what the movie was going to be about without giving away too, too much. And that's always, you know, the best thing to do with the trailer. <laughs> so I'm really excited to watch another scene from this movie and just kind of see what it looks like. So let's just jump on it. செஞ்சிட்டாச்சு <laughs> Oh, it's about to start. Very good sound design. மனதுக்கு மட்டும் பயந்து விடு மானத்தை உடலில் கலந்து விடு நடக்கும் நடக்கட்டுமே இருக்கிலில் நீடி மறையட்டுமே கண்ணாலே வெளி வரும் <laughs> that was great yeah this is definitely a like moss scene which is not a bad thing at all but there's definitely a few little errors like the fact that based on the sound effects he's very clearly slashing at flesh and like killing people but at the end everyone runs away like shouldn't there be some left on the ground like he brutally just attacked them <laughs> but you know that's I mean that's fun it's not I don't think it's meant to be the most um, accurate like to real life scene clearly but I do think the fight choreography was really well done the way that he Dan like was able to play with all the different people coming at him so smoothly and allow all those different attacks that he did to flow together and work well with the scene I think was really really well done. I loved whenever he just like looked around like looked at them and they all backed up I thought that was spectacular because I mean it's true like this guy just got out of his car to face like 30 people 
I'd be pretty intimidated. Like, yo, what's this guy up to? <laughs> He's definitely about to kick our butts. I thought that was really well done. He has a great look too, that look that he kind of gives around to everyone where he's like, really? Excuse me? Or like, who are you kind of? Like, it's, it's just a really good like mixture of those emotions that he gives as he looks around at everyone. And that was just really well done by him and all the people involved in the scene. The timing with the score as well was great. The whole score of this I think was awesome. I mean, of course it was, it's A.R. Rahman. So I do think that the score helped kind of build up that epicness of it as well as working with how the fight choreography went and vice versa to create a pretty compelling scene. They're definitely were just a few too many cuts for my taste. I'm so picky about that. I really don't like cuts and fight scenes. Um, it's, I mean, they're necessary at times. They 1,000 of an R, and especially they're big time savers and money savers. So, like, trust me, I get it. Um, as a filmmaker, I totally understand why to make a fight scene with the different cuts, but I just really love as few cuts as possible in a fight scene because it just shows so much skill and while this still does show a lot of skill and like they're doing it really well and there's I mean there's so many things you have to do as well whenever you are cutting between different takes because you have to make sure everything lines up and you know there's all challenges across all boards of whatever you try and do um but I just really like seeing longer takes and fights it's just a big personal preference like if you can give me like a nice long take that would be it's so good um, but you have to do it well and it's really hard to do those well so I fully understand yeah a great example of that was of course that single shot fight scene from um, Ashwatthama and I really did I did a whole analysis breakdown of that and I think that they did a really good job with it let's watch the fight portion again it cuts together pretty well they definitely do a thing where they um, whenever they cut they like bring it back a bit a few times so that the action like feels longer almost it's like a really it's a common technique in fight scenes where or like any sort of action scene like it's really common with cars and stuff where you kind of whenever you cut you go back a few seconds um in the next shot and then it kind of plays together more um which just helps i mean it creates a more it kind of tricks your mind into thinking that it all flows together better it does still flow together but um it's, and it makes it last longer and feel better pace because if you're like cutting straight to it, it's really fast and then that can feel a bit like too fast paced and overwhelming which is also an issue so there's different ways to play with that there's definitely i mean he's supposed to be beating up a whole lot of people so it's definitely it cuts between a few things like he's hitting the one guy's arm and he's still up and then it cuts to him slicing the person and the other person's just nowhere to be found um so there's a few small things like that it's definitely but it I don't know, for me it kind of works with the scene itself because it just feels like it's a bit of a skip in time and we're just seeing him like, he's just continually beating people up. We don't need to see every single hit, every single punch, like we see the amount of people who are injured and it's able to give us that same effect as well as all the sound effects that they're giving us. Um, but then of course it comes in the issue at the end where he's just been slashing these people up and they all just run away, but that's okay, you know, it's, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun scene still, and I think that it was overall really, really well done. I also find the lighting of the scene very interesting, it's very clearly nighttime, which makes sense, I think, for the plot of the scene, based very limitedly on my knowledge of it, um, just watching the three minutes and not knowing anything outside of those three minutes, um, it's, probably makes sense for, I mean, they seem to be a group of, like, kind of a gang, kind of, and they're coming to beat him up, and so it makes sense that that would take place at nighttime. so I definitely get the darker and I like how they utilize the lights around the area to help kind of add light to it and create a cool effect because it's kind of lights coming from every side um, which again which makes it easier to light it in general because then they're able to like kind of put lights wherever they want they don't and not really worry too much about a source specifically which is of course a challenge whenever it comes to lighting a scene it was still a little dark I wish maybe they played it up a little bit with the color grading but I do think that the green vibes to it are kind of um, interesting. I'm not positive why they are because I'd have to, you know, see more about the move parts going on around this to understand the exact motives for that, of course, but based on this alone, it kind of gives you that, like, grimier feel to it. And I don't mean that, I, I feel like that's going to come across wrong, but what I mean by that is it's, no, grimy is not the right word. That's not the right word at all. Um, hmm. 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 I can't think of any other words now. It's just that one stuck in my head, but it's not right. Um, let's see if I can just describe it. So it kind of gives that feeling of like darker and like just kind of like a rough fight. That's it. It's like a rough, just like street fight between these people, and it kind of helps create that effect of it's not. 
like it's just a street fight you know what I mean which is in itself kind of compelling because it says a lot about all the characters and like what exactly they're doing and what their position is in this world and all that because I mean even in the trailer remember there's that line about like calling him a rowdy one of the girls did so I think that, that definitely plays into this and because it seems like he might be a bit of a rowdy so it's interesting gonna be interesting to see how he transitions from that into being a soccer coach or a football coach um, I think the lighting and all this I'm sure Based on the trailer too, I believe that the lighting's probably going to change whenever they go to from his life as a rowdy to him as soccer, so it'll help kind of create the differences between the two in this like visuals to help show us that there's a difference, as well as um, just kind of defining his character at different points, so I think that they did do a good job with that darker and greener kind of vibe to these scenes, and then in the soccer slash football scenes, they're going to be a bit more brighter and colorful because it shows the change in his personality and in his life that he has, I'm assuming. In the movie based on how those kind of movies normally go and assume it has of course it's unique in its own but it'll have some of the similar um developments you know that a lot of these kind of movies use which is not a bad thing because it's it's a good formula that works extremely well and it's always compelling to get me to cry all the time i mean it's a good formula <laughs> yeah i think that this was a really fun scene i'm really i'm excited to start reacting to some more scenes because i think that that's a lot of fun because i love reacting to trailers and songs and songs are pretty much the video songs are like pretty much scenes as well in themselves but I don't know, the actual like, breakdown of scenes and stuff is really fun, and I haven't done that much, so I'm excited to start working on my own analysis skills as well as kind of just watching more things from movies. So, yeah. Alrighty, I think that that is all I have to say about the Bajil Rayapan Maz scene. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and Please, please be safe out there, everyone. It's continuing to just get more and more crazy right now, so make sure that you're staying safe and healthy and just doing your best to keep everyone else safe and healthy. All right, hope that you all have absolutely wonderful days. Bye.